Hello. Now, I put up a video the other day which was on the subject of um, how to do spaghetti sleeves. Okay, so, um, so I've done that and that was actually what it says. But I actually got the question wrong from a customer uh, which was a subscriber and the thing about it I'm looking for that person and I can't find where it was written and I've even mentioned it as Tina but I don't even think it was Tina it was somebody else but even if it was Tina here we go again so I did the wrong thing that that person requested so I'm about to do it again for you this time I've changed the fabric, I've even changed my machine. Um, so I'm going to do it on the machine, on the on that machine over there. So anyway, let's start off because I'm going to do less talking into this and get it done as quickly as possible. So first of all, I'm going to put it on paper. It's, it's going to be in three or four different stages. The first stage is, is I'm going to cut it on a dotted paper to get the sleeve. So I might as well take this opportunity now instead of just going straight to the point. So here's how we cut out the sleeve. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust that pattern, the sleeve, which in my days was called block pattern, but and it was done on cardboards because you keep them forever and ever. And every sleeve you make, you use that block and just change it in different variations. So I'm going to change it to a puff sleeve and then when I change it to a puff sleeve now this person called it spaghetti leaf um, spaghetti sleeves it's not a spaghetti sleeve as far as I'm concerned it is a puff sleeve with piping going around it so you could either have the piping going around the sleeve drop sleeve or I'm going to do it this way up so it sits here and have it going round the uh, front of the dress on the yoke or the back or um, at the back um, now what I did previously were for came tops and little things like that because there was no sleeves in it but now this is going to have a sleeve uh, and that was the important thing that this person asked for the sleeve now because it's piping going all the way around and unless this is going to be extremely tight going from there to there it won't really stay up and you find that most of the time it stays up when it's too tight and that's cut enough circulation or if you've got some form of elasticity or elastic in it all right this one is just going to show you how to do it and i'm going to do it in two ways i'm going to pipe it um which is what she asks for which is uh, similar to the spaghetti um and then the other one is i'm going to overlock a section of it and i'm going to do it from the front and work backwards and put the overlocking inside so i'm going to show you two ways so um here we go so we're going to first start off by my sleeve measurement if i can do this myself because first of all I'm showing you how to cut the pattern so here's the pattern of my sleeve now that's not tight what I've just done there and that can go up or down if you want it tighter so it doesn't go down just make it tighter so my biceps is say 11 to 12 12 to 13 inches thereabout okay so that's what I'm going to do and um, you see now I made a, I've cut a, some paper out so so and I'm, I folded here's my dot of paper on the tape oh, I'm going to show you in a minute so I fold it in half uh, so that's 12 inches so six six in there now from I'm going to put it up here so from here downwards if I can do this The drop of it is oh, 12 again, right? So 12 inches. Let's see what I've done on my paper. So here we go. So we've got 12 inches. And seeing that I've got extra on my paper, 
I can afford to go another inch to allow for uh, turnings half an inch at the top half inch at the bottom so let's just add it half an inch at the top now don't forget this is a sample right my sleeve around my arm is uh, 12 or 13 inches half of that half of 12 is 6 inches so 6 inches so we can say 6.5 inches no we'll say 7 inches allowing for seam allowance at the side it's a dotted paper so I can just follow this so on my lines, right, let me see now, under my arm, under my arms I want to go, say, six inches under my arm. Well, at the moment I'm going to draw a straight line up, but that's not what we're going to use. So that's six inches up. Now we know under our arms that it it takes it slantly it slants to one side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slant the sleeve to one side. Let's let's do let's do let's do that size. Now let's do there. And it was six inches. Don't forget, it's my pattern. I can do what I like. And we're going to adjust it. Now, sleeves, we know, takes a shape. So let's just do, draw it in roughly what we want. And because this is on the fold, what I'm cutting it, we now draw the marking to say, cut one okay so let's cut this out right so hold on here we can now draw the back going up or the front I'll do that afterward okay So once we open it up now, we have our pattern. Does that look like a sleeve to you? Yes. Now what we're going to do now is that here we need to determine the back and the front. So let me fold it again and seeing as though I've cut out this section here and I've got left nothing. So what I'm going to do is take this bit in slightly. Let me draw it for you. Can you see it? That is a bit too sharp, so it needs to be a little bit more of a curve. So that now becomes the front. And I'm going to curve this one a bit more. So can you see now the back? Now I said our seam allowance was half an inch. So here's my marking for half an inch and up the top and at the side. No, the side here I'm going to give this half an inch but the down the bottom I'm going to give that one inch because I'm going to turn it twice. Okay, 
to this market. Right, so the front, when we mark the front, we normally have two, one nip at the front to suggest that it's the front. So let's just put one nip there. And at the back, we have two nips to say it's the back. So let's open this up now. And there you see we've got our sleeve. Now, that's it. We have a sleeve, but this right now is not a puff sleeve. So now that we want to make a puff sleeve, let me see now. I cut out a piece of paper, but I don't know if I actually gave it enough depth for me to do what I want to do. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, I need another piece of paper. So what I've done is I've cut out another bit of paper and put it on top. If you've got I've sellotape, you sellotape it together, but at the moment I haven't got any sellotape here, so I'll just pin this for the moment. Right. So there we have it. Right, so here we have our sleeve and now we're going to turn this into a puff sleeve. I just want to make sure I have enough room. So I'm going to now stick a pin into the center which is there, that's my center, right? I'm going to now draw it so that you can see what I'm doing, how I've adjusted it. Here is the top. Uh, and I'm going to move it out as much as I can. I'm going to make this baggy. So here's my pin, I'm going to pivot, let me draw, redraw, I'm going to pivot again. So the distance from there to the end is 16, which is what I've done, 16. So now I'm going to do the opposite side, whoops, no, don't worry, I've got my marking, there it is, I can see the hole, there it is, right, 